I never walk out of the house without jewelry, ever. Like, I'll walk out of the house without makeup, but never jewelry. My blog, I would say, is aspirational, but at the same time, it's relatable because it is created for the everyday girl. And it has all sorts of things from beauty, fashion, to even motherhood, because now I'm a new mom. My job really entails me traveling the world, seeing, experiencing different experiences where I could share with my followers, maybe things that they can't experience themselves. I actually make it a point to always bring back a piece of jewelry whenever I travel. I know I sound like a crazy, just um, sentimental grandma here, but I write everything down. Like if I buy a piece of jewelry and I have tons, so I write them down of like where I got it and also the story behind it. So what I was actually doing that day. And because I'm in the business of like, go, 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 go. It's really important for me to write things down, especially the pieces that I buy. Traveling allows me to find different inspirations whether it be colors and different palettes or to even, you know, mixing and matching things a little differently. I don't love color on clothes, but I keep color all with my lips and jewelry. I just really look up to those women that really truly cared about themselves and their image. And that was my grandma too. My grandma, she would never walk out the door without any jewelry. She literally looked like she was attending someone's wedding every single day. I'm like, grandma, where are you going? She's like, oh, I'm just going to the store next door to get some toilet paper. But that's just who she was. And that is a standard that she had her whole life with everything that she did. She just prided herself on what she did as a woman. And so she was dressed to the nines every minute until she went to bed. Even when she went to bed, she had like jewels on. She was a jewelry hoarder. She literally just... Like, she is passing down things to my daughter, and I'm like, wait, how about me? You missed me. 